Are you trying to figure out if Milio Photos is the right photo manager program for you? Well, join me now. I'm bringing you a six month update on Milio Photos 24, now known as Milio Photos Plus. It's Molly here from Pixology, where we've been helping people for over 10 years feel confident and motivated in saving their family memories. We have recommended Milio up and down for a very long time. And today I'm coming in here to tell you a couple things that I've learned since I did my review of Milio Photos 24. And if you want to watch that, it will definitely help you if you're new to Milio. Uh, watch it and then come back and you're going to hear some of my thoughts now that we're six months later into this new version of the program. Before I start, I do want to let you know that Pixology is a partner with Milio Photos, and that means if you use our links below to purchase Milio, we might receive a small commission. And those little amounts of commission just help us continue bringing consumer education to you here on YouTube. Hands down, the best way to avoid challenges and troubles is to use your photo management program routinely. Working in Milio at least weekly is almost a prerequisite so that you can remember what you are doing, where you left off, and the tips and tricks of using the program. I think that's one of the things people have a problem with is sticking with the program. Do not import your pictures into Milio if you're not going to commit to using it routinely. Since posting that review last year, I have had a few questions and I wanted to do this follow-up video to help people out a little further. So let's just take a look at the Milio program here. I'm in my calendar view and of course this is the most beautiful way to look at photos. But the calendar view can't be the only reason why you use Milio, all right? We teach here to organize by folders. So I'm going to click on that folders icon and now you can see my folders are by decades. So when I go into my 2010s photos, for instance, you're going to see all of the years in there. And I like to organize photos in folders because like for instance here, you know, dad's memorabilia, um, this is all stuff that's from the 60s and the 70s, but it's dated 2020 to 2021 when I scanned it. Well, I don't have time to go back and change the dates on everything, so it sits there. And these pictures of my dad's memorabilia would show up in the calendar on April 3rd, 2020 through November 3rd, 2021. So that's why I like to just stick with folders. I will tell you that other people teach differently and uh, you need to find out the system that works for you for sure. So that's the folders view. For people who follow our system but want to use Milio, you can go back one level. So I'm going up one level here and you can see that I have my master family photos folder. I have my husband's 3D projects and then I have photos to organize. This is all of the photos that I still need to do something with. You know, ideally I'll get them over to the appropriate folders in the master family photos folder. I also have quotes and I'm testing something there. Anyway, these five folders are in the Milio pictures folder. This is the system folder that Milio sets up and everything gets moved in here. So this is where you would use your master family photos folder and your photos to organize folder. Okay, so that was one question that I heard about. We want to just go back to this level here in the folder. So on your computer, you will have a Milio pictures folder and a Milio inbox. And let me just show you what that looks like. Although, you never ever want to go here and mess with it, okay? So if I go to my users folder, there's Molly, and here is Milio. Here you can see my inbox and my pictures. All right, and then inside there are those folders that we were just looking at 
in the Mylio Pictures folder. So it gets a little confusing, but again, if you're using it routinely, you're gonna keep track of what's being saved where. Another challenge that has come across is, you know, when you switch devices, and this is really troublesome. Uh, I'm just gonna show you an example here. On the left-hand tools bar, you can see this dashboard and notifications. So right now, I have notifications and this is what's troublesome. So this is a, a, a device that I have used, my PC, but I hadn't updated it to Milio, the newest version in November, and I got around to it this past week. And now I have this notification that, if I read it here, let's look at this close, device has been removed from my account. Reset Milio settings. All right, well, that seems fairly alarming. <laughs> um, and now it says, if you want to use Milio Photos again on this device, I have to perform a factory reset. <laughs> like, doesn't that sound a little alarming? When you switch devices or, or have updates, you know, things just, this is a technology problem that you probably weren't anticipating. Doing any more work in here while it's in this state is not good because it wants to factory reset the Mylio photos and sync from a different device. Now, if that sounds convoluted, I don't blame you. I'm like a pro at this, but that is way more than I want to work with in a program and trying to figure things out. This is why we love working with folders on our computer and not a photo management program. For those of you who really do like Mylio and you're gonna commit to using it routinely enough that you remember what you're doing, there are resources that I think will help you. Unfortunately, I cannot be a resource for learning how to use Mylio. I don't have enough time to use it myself personally, and you should be working with experts who use it all the time. And the great thing is, is Mylio has a lot of options. On Mylio's webpage, if you just click on Learn, you'll see this area called Connect with Experts. Let's open that up and see what you can do here. So you have choices. You can go to these daily sessions virtually, live question and answers. There's personal onboarding sessions. There's live question and answers on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And they have a concierge service with the photo managers. So there are options and there's a full community that has questions and answers in there. With those resources and using the program routinely, you can keep up with your photo organization and all of those things that you wanna do with your pictures. I really hope this helps and if you have any questions or comments, throw them below and we'll try to respond. Thank you so much for watching and if you need to know more about organizing with folders on a PC, watch this video next. Thank you so much. We'll see you the next time. Mm -hmm.